Yes, sir. It's your boy B. Hayes. We're back with another one, guys. So AMC in the overall market, guys, it's been a wild, wild market, and there's some wild things left to happen as well. So as we know, the overall market has been getting hammered for months and months and months and months and months. And finally, we had some breathing room just a month, last month, you know, weeks ago. We've seen a whole lot of bullishness out of nowhere. Stocks up over 30, 40% in a day. Stocks up over 300% in the past month. Stocks that we call now. We've seen all of this. We prepared for this. And I told you guys it was going to happen for a short period of time. And the market was going to come right back down. So now we're sitting in this spot, right? So from here, I never would like to leave you guys. and never will leave you guys. If I do leave you guys with that, it's just going to be, you know, with what I'm about to say is going to be for the fact. Because it really comes uh, time, certain times in the market where... You know, you just don't know what the next move is going to be. I tend to rarely be in that spot. But like I say, guys, from here, people are already seen the market tank feel very hard, right? So without a doubt in their mind, you know, there are some expecting for it to come down lower and some expecting them to feel hard. It got to rip back up from here, right? That's what the thoughts is, right? So let me go ahead and tell you guys what I personally believe is going to happen it already happened just as i expected it the bullish market came within the bearish market told you guys the sale is going to be a short window and rebuy during the deal and this is the deal now and this going to happen you know it's going to be volatile along the way before it continues to go on this next journey of its direction what i mean by that exactly to be clear is you see how it done exactly what we expect to do now we're in this spot where people expect they got to go down from here or it's about to rip back up from here. And what I believe it's about to do is kind of both. But I'm going to tell you in the time frame how it's going to happen. Now that we didn't got hit hard on last week, very hard. We ended Friday down bad. I'm pretty sure. Even if the market is about to come down lower. Because like I told you guys, the analysts, and I, I already called them it before now that they're making articles about it. But even analysts and higher other people. As I already expecting the market to come down 20 to 25 percent lower as well from its previous low. So with that being said, I told you guys that it was going to have a bullish market and a bearish market it was going to come back down and create newer lows, just like with Bitcoin. I told you guys when it was at 50,000, it was going to come all the way down to 20,000 to a 2018 all-time high, and if it broke below 18,200, that gave us an indication it was coming all the way down to 10k, and it did that. But I said before it go down to 10K just like that because it done dropped so significantly, it's going to rip first. And what Bitcoin do? It ripped from 17000 to $24,000, a $5,000 increase in price action, and then come right back down to 20K, now consolidating whether it want to make that next significant drop to 10K or if it want to rip up to 30K before going back down to 10K. But best believe, it's going to and want to drop down more. Same thing with overall market, guys. So you want to be very, very careful. Because people thinking now, like, man, this been going on a while. Ain't no way it's going to keep dropping. Ain't no way it could go lower. Yes, it can. And yes, it definitely will if the feds don't hurry up and control inflation at a timely manner, guys, and get things back on the up and up. Get the economy back in an uproar. Get people back spending money. Get us out of this recession that we got ourselves into and that they put us into. Because like we said, if we go all the way back, they caused this problem by printing an abundance of money. 80% of the money that's in the world in existence today was printed in the last 22 months. With that being said, when you got an overflow of money, but the supply is not matching up, one got to give. That means if I don't got enough supplies, but I got all these people with a whole lot of extra money that come out of nowhere, that means all of them willing to buy this product. But I only got three of these products, and I got a million people wanting to buy. What, what is going to make me do right? Not from being naive or mean or anything, I'm going to have to raise my price because I know it's going to take me a while before I can get this product again so it's going to have to be worthwhile for me when i got all these people fighting for it hope that makes sense in a nutshell but anyways guys like we know man people is about to get scared again because what's about to happen is the market is going to pull up next week it's going to rip up but it's going to rip up for a short instance and come right back down so money is to be made along the way but you got to be smart and meticulous get in and get out especially in a bear market guys so let's go ahead and take a look at see what's going on amc ended friday at nine dollars and 14 cents down over 4.3 percent fell a little bit more than after hours as we know guys without a doubt we had an advantage and a disadvantage for both sides of the party with the amc special dividend with eight that's now listed on the stock exchange it had advantages and disadvantages for both short and loans so that being said, guys, we know this definitely was a momentum killer. 
AMC before we done this uh, not stock split but special dividend and kind of split it up the price, it definitely was, you know, about to go. It was getting out of here. We was holding up firmly above 20. They couldn't get us up under it. And this thing was, you know, picking up traffic. Bed Bath & Beyond was going crazy. That eventually would have helped AMC and GameStop tug along because they are sympathy plays. They run in sync with one another. If one of them go too crazy, regardless if all the other ones seem like they, you know, what's wrong with them? They ain't doing Eventually, if that one keep going crazy, the other ones have no choice but to tag along and catch up, guys. So as we know, man, they definitely tried, you know, trying to pull screens to get retail up out of here. A lot of you guys still have, you know, the fight power. Like I said, I was all in, all in or nothing. But I'm pretty sure everybody, what I was stating in other videos, everybody think what I'm thinking, but they too afraid to say it, guys. So you already know, follow the real or follow the fake. You do you. But I love you guys. Get in VIP. We calling out plays over there every single week. Man, also... Go ahead and hit your boy up on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram if you want to do any phone calls. I do 15-minute phone calls and 30-minute phone calls. I love y'all. We out. And God bless you. We go.